Toto, my final question for you is in terms of talent acquisition, have you seen any trends that happening? Did COVID made a competitive advantage or hiring from people remotely easy, not easy, or what, what's happening? Where are we going? Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, great question. Like the, with COVID and everyone working remotely, you know, it doesn't matter where you are anymore. You know, you can work for any organization anywhere and organizations are way more comfortable with that now where they may have wanted you to be in San Francisco or in Toronto or, or, you know, in a, uh, a business hub where they work. Now you can be in Halifax or, uh, be in uh, Whitefish, Montana, it doesn't matter. And you can work for any organization. So it's putting pressure on organizations everywhere. And that is also leading to a little bit of a, of a uh, price competition. And so if you can't compete on big budgets to hire people, you're going to have to compete some other way. And that's again, where if you come back to culture, it's incredibly important. And I even was reading that the Gallup organization through recent research highlighted that if you have a better reason to stay and a stronger culture, it can insulate you up to 20% of a compensation difference. So somebody would be less likely to leave unless the, the new offer from an organization is 20% higher than what they're being paid today if you have a strong focus on your culture and your organization. I believe that working from home or remote working for some companies, it was normal or for some people, it was not because based on my conversation, some people said, I've been working from home for three years. This is nothing new yeah. to me. But for organization, there was this challenge or resistance. If I don't see you in front of me working, I cannot trust you. But I feel that with COVID within maybe 24 or 72 hours, they said, we might, uh, <laughs> we should make this happen. Otherwise, we cannot function, right? Absolutely. So this is not going to go away. It really, it, everything was moving in that direction. Anyhow, with millennials who yes. wanted more flexibility in their schedules and even people with their lives, you know, that like, you know, having a, uh, children or, or being an adult parent, an adult child, taking care of your, your adult parents. Yes. Uh, you know, there's so many different reasons that having this extra flexibility is very important. Even the cost of gas now driving to work oh, is crazy. crazy, you know, so it's, uh, you know, there's lots of reasons why remote is good, but there's also lots of reason why is getting back in into offices together so yeah. that you have more innovation, uh, more inspiration, more connection with your, connection, your teammates. Yeah. Yeah. And even those connections, because it's easier to leave an organization now because you're not as connected to somebody through Zoom yes. as you would be as having lunch with them or having team events in person, mm -hmm. you know, collaborating with them in, you know, in a dynamic environment. So there's a, there is good reason to go back, yeah. but there's also good reason to keep the flexibility in the system. And I know a lot of CEOs are really challenged right now thinking about how are we going to get our team to come back? We got to give them a reason, reason to come back. And again, during COVID time, they hired people remotely on the basis that this is a remote job. Do you think yep. that they will force them or, you know, no, you need to come to the office, then fire them and find someone local. Again, it's a challenging time, a lot of moving parts. Again, if you're having half of your team remote, half of them in office, then you have to create a culture that combines those two, maybe make, make events for people remotely, people for in the office. So a lot of moving parts in the HR and even the CEO. It's, right? it's challenging. It's, it's a brave new world in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, but that being said, you know, uh, we do need to figure out how to work uh, efficiently and effectively in a hybrid environment and kind of going back to some of our other discussions, which have been on your, your previous uh, segments. You know, it, it all comes back to who are you as in a company, you know, where are your core values, how do you want to operate and then hire people like if someone wants to work fully remotely, they should find an organization that will allow them to do that. Yes. And for other people who want to work in the office and be with people and and be, uh, you know, more engaged that way, they should look for organizations and vice versa. Employers need to also hire that way, too, so that they can run the businesses the way that they need to to be successful. And of course, certain things like hospitals, healthcare, you have to go to work, yeah. you know, manufacturing, you have to go to work. Uh, you know, some people that are in the knowledge economy and developers, marketers, writers, 
uh, you know, uh, you know, all of those types of roles are conducive to being remote, but it's also your company will do far better if you can still get your team together. And even for individuals, you need to go to work because if you're not going to work, you might be missing on opportunities to advance your career because if you are present and you're there with other people and demonstrating your competency and capabilities and your boss is also there, guess who's going to get the promotion at the end of the day? Those are very important uh, points, Tom. And again, with that, my interview comes to an, to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to answer these few questions. And I believe it was very valuable for anyone, employers, uh, CEOs listening, and hopefully they can implement and use kudos yeah, in their systems. And I will leave some uh, kudos uh, link downstairs. Uh, I mean, down in the, well, <laughs> down in the comment section. I am in downstairs, actually. So again, thank you very much, Tom. And for the audience, tune in next time for other great guys. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.